today I am gonna cover uh, one of the important service from AWS and which is very essential for the developer as well uh, Elastic Beanstalk from the AWS so AWS rolled out these features uh, I believe in 2014 in reInvent and from now on it's very popular service for the developers because it's very easy to use it's very use easy to de uh, deploy and everything because you just need to provide your code and you are good to go so let's first check out the documentation that have its work so as it is mentioned on the AWS official website it's uh, it's very easy to use and deploy the web application as as well as the service deploy with the various programming language like Java, .NET, PHP, Node.js, Python, Ruby, Go, Docker and various other platform as well apart from that uh, Elastic Beanstalk it's nothing it's just like giving you a convenience it's doing the same thing whatever you are you used to do with the manual thing like hosting your website on EC2 instance and deploying your worker role on the EC2 instance is the same thing but here you just need to do on drag and drop and rest of the thing will be handled by the AWS so later on once we will jump into the demo we will get you will get more idea that how it's work so now let's go to the elastic beanstalk so first of all I believe you you, you will have the AWS free tier uh, account if you know if you don't have you can go to the AWS official website and you can follow the step to how to create the uh, free tier account after creating the free tier account you will jump into the management console and over there you will have the search bar so there you can search that elastic beanstalk elastic beanstalk or either you can go in the services and under the compute section section you will find out that elastic beanstalk so now click on that elastic beanstalk now elastic beanstalk contain various component so first of all what application is consists so first and foremost we need to create one application so let's create one new application okay now there will be two kind of application one will be the web service environment so basically this we will use to host the uh, web applications our a HTTP uh, APIs and kind of stuff basically which is uh, public facing things whichever that uh, face the public traffic and the other type of the environment is the worker environment so now what it is it is basically kind of a cron jobs or uh, the kind of worker rules that you wanted to do so in this demo we will take the web service environment okay now in the application name you can give any application name right uh, environment you can give anything let's give it the test env application name we choose now domain by for the domain name you can let's say geek conflict and the rest of the part will be I will, I will be provided by the AWS let's check the availability so yeah it is available description is optional if you want you can give now here the platform is the very uh, essential part so here you can choose the various option and I believe uh, uh, AWS is constantly adding constantly uh, increasing this list so right now you have the various program a uh, very well known programming language apart from that you can also utilize the docker as well so pretty much you can cover all of the platform so we will go with the Python now this is choose platform it is only available when you choose the docker so custom platform let's say if you go with the docker
I don't know why it's uh, it's not getting that uh, custom platform but whenever you choose the docker it will ask you that which kind of platform you have used in the docker so that's for the Python now for the sample application if you have the existing application you just need to provide your code now th there are various requirements for it that how you will write your code and you will also require one configuration file but you can easily find on the AWS documentations and some of the applications or some of the samples you can find in the git repository as well the link you can also find in the AWS official website so if you have the existing website you can choose that one but here we gonna use the sample application there are other more configuration as well which is the advanced kind of thing that's let's say you want to uh, put your web application behind the load balancer or you want to decide your capacity that how many instances you want for that uh, there are various kind of uh, rolling updates like how, how you want to do a deployment for your applications uh, then after monitoring you can use the CloudWatch and X-Ray as well then after database that whether you want to uh, deploy or uh, and provision the database with this environment or you want to provision your database separately apart from that the advanced features is network as well but we're not gonna do this one because this is just for the demo purpose so we'll leave as it is and we'll create the environment now it will take pretty much around five minutes or six minutes because it is launching your ec2 instance at the same time so at the same time we can go to the ec2 section and we can see here it will show all the logs that what happening in that process so first what it did it downloaded the your application from the s3 bucket because aws have already put a certain sample application in the s3 bucket it also created the security group with this name it created the elastic ip address as well it's initializing the one ec2 instance as well so now if we'll go we should see the ec2 instance here Okay, you can see here I didn't launch any EC2 instance. This is direct coming from our Elastic Beanstalk. Now this this is the automation process. Now if you if you will delete the Elastic Beanstalk, it will automatically delete the EC2 instance as well. Right. So just give it a second. There we go. So waiting so it is instance to launch and it may take few minutes. So it's already launched. It will show the timing as as well and here we can see the security group which is created for that so let's match the ID 7 and 1 which is and with the DTS so 7 and 1 and with the DTS okay so now so successfully launch the environment with this one and our application is available on this endpoint so it will provide us the one dns which is provided by the aws but you can easily map with your own domain name like www.xyz.com as well so now let's put this environment they also provided the instance id as well so now if you will take this if you will take this instance id from here so this is the nice console which is provided by AWS okay so here if I will put instance ID just to make sure it here we go so that is the EC2 instance anyways we have only one EC2 instance so so now the application is looking healthy 
uh, this is the environment which we are using for our web application and running the type version is this one now your application can have multiple version so now if we go on the elastic beanstalk and if we see here this is our application all the application in that one we have the demo application now the demo application could have multiple environment test environment uh, your prod environment your testing and uh, sorry your uh, development environment as well so you can create multiple environment by here and clicking on this one it's the same thing whatever the step we perform initially but you need to provide the different names and once you create the entire environment it will show up here as another environment now let's if I click on that one it will bring me here and here you can see this is your domain name if I click on that one and there we go our application is up and running congratulations your first AWS Elastic Beanstalk Python application is now running on your own dedicated environment in the AWS cloud if you want to go further and if you want to know in more detail there are certain links which AWS provide for the documentation you can go further and research it more there are various kind of other features as well it is also integrated with other AWS services as well for the monitoring and alarm it is uh, integrated with the CloudWatch so it shows all your metrics what is the CPU utilization and what is the memory utilization internet output and input throughputs as well you can put certain events as well that whenever the EC2 instance get launched whenever your environment is down when your server is down it will notify you by your email apart from that this is the health that how many server how many serve instance are healthy how many servers is still in pending if there any se uh, uh, severe detection in the environment as well it will show that as well then after logs and whatever the configuration it used to show when we were creating the environment the same kind of configuration it will show here as well so you can modify any of them let's check this one capacity so right now we have the single instance application but as I mentioned earlier if you want to put it behind the load balancer it will automatically launch the load balancer and it will put your application on multiple instances to make it highly available okay so yeah that's our entire uh, AWS Elastic Beanstalk application Okay, bye. See you guys. Uh, see you on next video.